and nothing but pure joy. Look at this. Over the weekend, the 10 year old Marlton Chiefs won the Cal Ripken World Series championship game in Indiana. It has been a whirlwind few days for the players and coaches. And tonight, they are back home and looking forward to celebrating with a community that has been cheering them on since day one. Eyewitness News anchor C. Alpha Lewis caught up with a very humble team. Well, they did it. The Marlton Chiefs are your 2022 Cal Ripken World Series champions, making them the best 10 and under team in the entire country. Going into that, it was, you know, first and second, you know, two outs, uh, tie ball game, just, you know, a scenario that every kid dreams about having. And uh, Michael got a great pitch to hit, and he put a great swing on it. As soon as it was hit, you know, I looked at it for a second, saw the outfit it was, and knew, knew there was no shot he was catching it, and just, just was just jumping for joy. But not only did they win the title, bringing it home to the leafy Burlington County, New Jersey suburb, but they went undefeated in the process, going a perfect seven. And oh. uh, we started off with a team from Hawaii, which was still amazing to play. <laughs> I never thought this summer I'd be playing a team from Hawaii, and then we beat a team from Oregon, and then we finished up with the first team we played uh, from Florida and beat them, uh, which was amazing. All, all, the, all three games we came from behind, um, and just this team had no quit in them at all. The coach's son, Michael Appalucci, was named MVP, but you can tell he's a born leader by this response. I'm just happy that we uh, won the World Series. You don't care about the award? No. Braden scored the game winning run. I don't usually run that fast, but I turn on the Jets. And one of the assistant coaches was promoted to the rank of captain Monday night here in Evesham. The way 12 kids became one, and every single kid had an impact on us winning this. And that's the most, you can't quantify that at all. That's the best thing we could ever see, is seeing them come together to, to bring us home to Marlton. I ended up interviewing every single player on the team. Their manners, excitement, and zest for life, something all us adults can learn from. It's really shocking. I sometimes don't think it's real because we're the best team in the country. Well, I want to say I can't believe they did it, but that's not true because they have great coaches, supportive parents, a love of and for the game, and all the intestinal fortitude that 10 year old boys can muster. In Marlton, New Jersey, with the champs, Siafa Lewis, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you so much, Siafa, and congrats to all of you guys.